Solidarity and Citizenship CSC, is a major subject under the strand of humanities and social sciences. Before we proceed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more updates. For our first week for this module under the Community Engagement, Solidarity and Citizenship our learning competency will be coming from the most essential learning competencies or MELCs of the Department of Education or DEPED and this is Explain the importance of studying community dynamics and community action in relation to applied social sciences and the learner's future career options. For our first week for this module under the Community Engagement, Solidarity and Citizenship our learning objectives are the following. 1. Explain the importance of studying community dynamics and community action in relation to applied social sciences and the learner's future career options. 2. Compare and contrast the definitions of community using options. 3. Develop and affirm a sense of shared identity and willingness to contribute to the attainment of the common good. 4. Recognize diversities in communities. For our first week for this module under the Community Engagement, Solidarity and Citizenship our learning topics are the following. 1. Defining the subject CSC. 2. Definition of community. 3. Different characteristics of community and lastly number 4. Diversity of community. What is CSC? This course focuses on the application of ideas and methods of the social sciences to understand, investigate, and examine challenges of contemporary community life. It focuses on community action initiatives such as community engagement, solidarity, and citizenship as guided by the core values of human rights, social justice, empowerment and advocacy gender equality, and participatory development. It aims at enhancing students' sense of shared one identity and willingness to contribute to the pursuit of the common good of the community. It enables students to integrate applied social sciences into community action initiatives. This subject is a prerequisite of disciplines and ideas in the social sciences, disciplines and ideas in the applied social sciences, and Philippine politics and governance. Defining the subject CSC works with communities to bring about social change and improve quality of life. This is the main focus of this subject, to enable the learners to understand the importance of developing the current situation of their community or of the community where they will work someday. They are expected to bring social change and to be the voice of marginalized members of the community. Community development is a process whereby those who are marginalized and excluded from the society are enabled to gain self-confidence and to join with others. They are encouraged to participate in actions to change their situation and to tackle the problems that face their community. Community work is concerned with the development and empowerment of communities through facilitating the active participation of people in addressing issues that affect them collectively. It can be done in a variety of contexts. In neighborhoods, with specific groups, with partnership groups, local authorities and state agencies. Community workers usually work in teams and liaise closely with the police, social workers, teachers, probation officers and other agencies. They represent the voices and needs of target groups and disadvantaged communities to policy makers at local and national level. Definition of Community What is community? A community is composed of people with shared sentiments. And for most of the time this is how we define the word community. This definition is correct, but in defining the word community there is no single definition that will define this word. What is community? The term community is one of the most elusive and vague in sociology and is by now largely without specific meaning. At the minimum it refers to a collection of people in a geographical area. There are three other elements may also be present in defining the word community. 1. Communities may be thought of as collections of people with a particular social structure, there are, therefore, collections which are not communities. 
Such a notion often equates community with rural or pre-industrial society in May. In addition, tree turban or industrial society is positively destructive. There are three other elements may also be present in defining the word community. 2. A sense of belonging or community spirit. There are three other elements may also be present in defining the word community. 3. All the daily activities of a community, work and non-work, take place within the geographical area, which is self-contained. Different accounts of community will contain any or all of these additional elements. Different characteristics of community. There are many characteristics and elements that a community possess. But for this lesson we are going to present the 12 most visible characteristic or elements of a community. 1. A group of people. A group of people is the most fundamental or essential characteristic or element of community. This group may be small or large but community always refers to a group of people. Because without a group of people we can t think of a community, when a group of people live together and share a common life and binded by a strong sense of community consciousness at that moment a community is formed. Hence a group of people is the first prerequisites of community. 2. A definite locality. It is the next important characteristic of a community. Because community is a territorial group. A group of people alone can't form a community. A group of people forms a community only when they reside in a definite territory. The territory need not be fixed forever. A group of people like nomadic people may change their habitations. But majority community are settled and a strong bond of unity and solidarity is derived from their living in a definite locality. 3. Community Sentiment it is another important characteristic or element of community. Because without community sentiment a community can't be formed only with a group of people and a definite locality. Community sentiment refers to a strong sense of all feeling among the members or a feeling of belonging together. It refers to a sentiment of common living that exists among the members of a locality. Because of common living within an area for a long time a sentiment of common living is created among the members of that area. With this the members emotionally identify themselves. This emotional identification of the members distinguishes them from the members of other community. 4. Naturality. Communities are naturally organized. It is neither a product of human will nor created by an act of government. It grows spontaneously. Individuals became the member by birth. 5. Permanence community is always a permanent group. It refers to a permanent living of individuals within a definite territory. It is not temporary like that of a crowd or a
Understanding that each individual is unique, and that each of our individual differences share a purpose in society. Unfortunately, diversity has not always been embraced. But as we continue to grow as a society, we are starting to see the importance of bringing different races, nationalities, religions, and sexes together as one team and community. And doing so holds a number of advantages for communities and groups. Every culture, every nationality, every single person sees the world in a different way. Similarly, every culture, nationality, and person has different knowledge, perspectives, and points of view. When all of these different views are shared together, miracles can happen. Think about it. How do you learn? In order for us to learn something new, we need to be taught by someone who already has that knowledge and experience. If our teachers throughout school didn't have any different knowledge and experience than us, then we would never learn anything from them. The same goes for different cultures and backgrounds. If everyone was exactly the same, no one would ever learn anything because there would be no knowledge to teach. But because this is not the case, we can all learn something by listening to people with different experiences, perspectives, and backgrounds than us. And when we learn something new, we might just spark a sense of creativity within ourselves. Remember, two brains are better than one, and the more diverse we are, the more we have to learn from each other. For more videos please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Thank you for watching.